I love seeing that red button, feel me? When that motherfucker go from green to red, just know we came to pod. Right off mother. We came to pod. We came to pod. And we body slamming these motherfucking episodes. And we body slamming these motherfucking episodes. The late night edition. Late night edition. Late night edition. Late night edition. Right off mother. Right off mother. Right off mother. This is your boy, Ocho the Goat, a.k.a. Sith Lord Ocho. You know, once upon a time, I was a Jedi. Right off mother. Right off mother. Right off mother. Nigga in the middle. <laughs> the ultimate middle man, Big Goo. Right off mother. In the loft. <laughs> this bitch is nice. <laughs> right off mother. You know what I'm saying, man? It's a, it's a smooth motherfucker with a platinum ass voice. Ride motherfucking horn, you know what I'm saying? A.k.a. the nigga who be, you know what I'm saying? Serving your bitch, you know what I'm saying? Deli meat, you know what I'm saying? 24-7, you know what I'm saying? I be packing a lunchbox, you know what I'm saying? Giving her that motherfucking brown paper bag. Right off mother. Well, yeah, I mean, I have caught some bodies. I have caught some bodies. Yeah, well, I'm going to take it back there. Yeah, when you out here hooping, when you're a whore, a thought, when you're a player, <laughs> Let me correct myself. When you're a player and they put you, and the coach puts you in the game. Right off mother. If a niggas out here just being a hoe, because they like calling niggas hoes, you feel me? If a nigga going to be a hoe, you got to understand and know that he's hooping. He's in the gym getting his shots up. He has a high turnover rate. Because I mean, because like, you feel me? Every nigga would love to just leave the house every day and get his dick sucked. But everybody ain't able, you feel me? Right off mother. If this nigga out here, he running through four, five, six, seven bitches at once. Right off, mother. It ain't just cause he smell good. I'm sorry. Right off, mother. He got some sauce. He yeah, got, you feel he got me? some. He got some drip with that walk. Cause you know, like once you fall out with a shorty, you know, like once they get a new nigga, you always automatically the Joker. Somebody got to be the super villain in the story. Right off, mother. Cause it's all social media shit at the end of the day. You know, it's all just copy pasted. Right off, mother. Do you think like social media is like hurting some of these shorties, absolutely. like relation, like relationship? One hundred percent. Absolutely. N- let me rephrase just so I can get it. You think like social media is hurting these shorties whenever they are trying to approach a man and her intentions are a relationship? Right off mother. Right off mother. Do you think, you know what I'm saying, like social media is, you know what I'm saying, like influencing these women in any way, like whenever they approach y'all, like they, they maybe like they tempo is off. Maybe like the energy and vibe is off. Before we zero in on that, let's state the fact that we know that social media across the board for males and females does kind of help generate a false self-image, you know? Absolutely. We're all, whether we want to admit it or not, we're all a little bit conceited and narcissistic due to social media, you know, due to how the nature of it is. It's all, hey, look at me. Hey, I'm pretty cute. Hey, you know, I'm pretty strong. You know, I'm in the gym. Everybody fucking goes to the gym or, hey, I'm cooking. Everybody's the best fucking chef. You know, we all have boosted attributes to our mirror. You know, your brain doesn't let you see yourself negatively. You're always going to think you're the shit. Right off mother. Absolutely. So back to the dating scene, we know women are used to being chased anyway, you know. They are. They are. So a lot of times, you know, if we're talking about social media, look at the memes they post, you know, the TikToks they share. Right off mother. They perpetuate a certain rhetoric, you know. And it's like, they're all pretty stuck up once you cut to the chase. They're all pretty stubborn, you know, they're all pretty entitled and probably for no good reason. Right off mother. That shit is weird because it's like, you know, even if you are, you know, one of the cutest, you know, even if you are one of the smartest, does that really give you the right to 
be so stuck up, you know, to be this snobby princess type, you know. Right off mother. I say, I say do you. Be this spoiled brat, quote unquote. I say do you, but you're going to have to be able to, for me, it's like you got to carry your weight. So right off mother. Right off mother. Social media does portray portray it weird because like I always meet I ain't gonna say I always meet chicks, but a lot of like I can't even say that. A lot of black chicks that I run into the it feel like the energy and the vibe is like them they're always off. Like That's what I'm saying, bro. Like they don't know how to approach a nigga or it's always right off mother. Right off mother. Confrontational. Yeah. You know, standoffish. Yep. Cause I've seen a lot of like you said, like with the black shorty, like my homie been sending me a lot of messages and his his interactions and shit. With the black ones, and it's like, like yeah, I, I showed you that that one, and it's just like, she kind of politely declined. He was like, "Cool, you know, you you slide out with grace, you bow out," and she just teed up on my nowhere. And it's like, what's all this about? Like, it's just right off mother. Right off mother. You get on Twitter, and like you see shorties. It's as like clown. nothing you do is good enough. It's like you see shorties as clown niggas all the time on Twitter. Like a nigga sliding a shorty DM, she just screenshot and just clown him. Right off mother. Right off mother. And that same shit, I've I seen it like twice or three times where a shorty, like a nigga being a shorty DM, you get what I'm saying, shooting a shot. Some of the shots sound decent. I'm like, damn, I'm going to have to take that one. But um, <laughs> they get on there and, and repost the shit and be like, man, look, look how thirsty he is. And I'm like, I, I slid up on somebody and I'm like, man, what's the point of that? Like. No cap. Why did you do that? I was gonna say that to us. A lot of prove? DMs getting screenshot. You feel me? Like you trying to clown a lot of motherfuckers too. Right off mother. If you a single shorty, how do you expect a, a real nigga to come and present himself to you if this is sort of cap shit you on? Niggas don't even know how to approach y'all for real. Right off mother. <laughs> no cap. And some niggas ain't finna try. I said, I said <laughs> back on some other tracks that like I don't slide in the DM, and then after that I start sliding in the DM. You get what I'm saying? Like shooting my shot, like shit. Hey, I need you, but shit. Right off, mother. A lot of times it's like best case scenario. You know they DM you first, so you know if they DM you first, okay, she's interested. You know you you start interacting with them, and it's like they want you to chase them now, and they go zero dark thirty on you. It's like what the fuck was the point of DMing me if? You wasn't trying to pursue something. These like, shorties is mad. What weird. the fuck is going on? It's like they capping for attention. It's like you reaching that hard. You want somebody to just be texting you up and shit. But it's like, but that's what it is. It's the attention that they want. Right off, mother. Right hey, text out of nowhere. We'll text for a little bit, and that just be it. And I'll be one to ask you. So I was like, why do you keep on texting me? Yeah. Are you what trying the fuck to come is going on? Like, suck and fuck like, or no? Or no? Because like, bitch, like I don't consider you a friend just because like. You don't talk. It's like, shorty, like, if all you do is, like, hit me up every once in a while. Right off mother. I don't consider you a friend. I and don't at know some you. point, I'm going to ask, like, hey, when are we fucking? You ask me what you're doing no eight cap. times a day. Yeah, right off mother. Like, when you cool with it, shorty, like, even if y'all are sexually active, like, you can have a conversation with it. Like, y'all text. Niggas don't mind holding a conversation, but it's like, is it substantial? Is it meaningful? Does it have a direction? That's what I'm saying. Like, is it meaningful or is it just us? Oh, like, what are you doing? Like, you texting me for free. Like, yeah. what's, what's this about? Like, don't text me at like two in the morning and we just having a conversation about what the fuck you watching on Netflix. Because like, you bitch, got 400 unread this. messages already. Yeah. You got 400 unread messages. I didn't Why do this. I need to be 403? For real. No cap. Why don't I need to be 403? Answer some of these other niggas. Leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. For real. Who you didn't text it first and late? Yeah. Go hit some of their line back. Cause you not coming by the fuck. Once I get that in my head, you not coming by the fuck. It don't you could it don't matter what you say to me. And if you not trying to fuck, just say that. I ask. I'm asking. I don't got. I'm not. I'm. I'm asking. After like the third head, two in the morning, I'm asking you. You sliding, shorty? Like what we? Right off, mother. Snapchat me that pussy. I'm shooting. I have. Cool. I have. Going back to what you said, you said something like um, being like having a direction or a meaningful conversation. Like I haven't ran into many. Females around here where I have had intellectual conversations. Like Absolutely. And I told my shit. I had a lot of that. And I'm like, damn, where the fuck Bro, are these people at? Ten times a day. Or or they think that that they're having an intellectual conversation with you because they're talking about shit they've been through or their family. And it's like, Shorty, that's not always the way you to, to number one start a, a friendship, relationship, whatever it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Like when I talk about having like a real conversation, like bitch, are you fun to talk to? Right off, mother. Right off, mother. Right off, mother. Can right I like shit. actually like fuck with you, and it don't be all this? You just putting all your trauma on my shoulders, and I'm just gonna be the 
to to save a whole nigga just for some pussy. I'm not I like that. I know what the fuck to say to you off some of this shit you just told me. I'll tell a bitch flat out, oh, damn. He on, damn. Right off, mother. That is the go-to. <laughs> damn. damn. Sheesh. Yeah. Damn. yeah. It was all that. It was all that, and for I, real. And I strong. eventually, I Come eventually... On. <laughs> I told the host. All the way shit, into some like, pussy. Come on. All the way into some pussy. <laughs> you did How many times y'all done damn y'all into some pussy? Shorty come in there. You just damn, damn shorty. Damn. Straight up. I can't believe you went through all that. Like that? Like that? Damn. Uh, right off mother. Man. <laughs> oh, you did this shit for an hour and a half. All the way into some box. Uh, got a couple of those. Got a couple of those. I had a bitch come through one time. And <laughs> she get to telling me a story. About her friend, right? Who got into it with her boyfriend. And at the end of all this, really through the middle of this, I'm like. Right off mother. I'm like, it's making a lot of sense. But why are you telling me a story about your goddamn best friend, boyfriend? Right off mother. How many times have y'all met a shorty, bro? And the very within the very first five conversations, bro, she told you some shit about her best friend you had no business fucking knowing. Within the very first five conversations, it was, "Hey, my name is Woo Wop the Bam. Oh, I like this, this, and that." Ooh. Oh, that's Sally. She's a uh, you like? Uh, oh shit! Oh, this is my best friend Sally. She's a whore. Like whoa! Right off, mother. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, her dad doesn't love her. Let me let you know. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, she, she fucked a hundred and one people. Right she has family mother. issues. Her brother's on drugs. <laughs> like you mean shit like that? <laughs> like, whoa! Like, damn. Okay. Damn, cool. Okay. Then she gives shit. you the whole scoop and shit. Right off, mother. Right off. As soon as you say whoa, they be like, oh yeah, let me tell you the story. You be like, what the fuck? You got to pump the brakes like, you yeah. sure you need to? <laughs> yeah, you sure you want to? I'm not trying to cry. <laughs> Do you, you want some water? Yeah, like relax. Damn, you need right off mother. To a woman. Right yeah. off mother. Because somebody needs to show her how to be a woman. You know, that's but, not your role. But what I could show my daughter is what type of man to look for. Right Just off Just show mother. her, you know, like what love yeah. looks like. What you know, love like, is, as, as I feel like as love. a father role to a daughter, you feel like you want your shorty to be really secure. You want her to not be falling for any kind of old trick these niggas throwing. Because I'm like, we know a lot of niggas is tricking off. Right off mother. You know, like, it's, it, we know in reality, it's not hard to get a lot of bitches on your dick, you know? So it's like, right you off want mother. Your, your little shorty, your offspring, you know, she represent your name, you feel me? She gonna give your shit away. If you have to pay for a wedding one day, you want her to be selecting properly, you know? So you show her what love looks like. You know, you show her what proper attention and proper stability look like. You know, you give her a good example. Right off mother. Right off mother. Right off mother. So you saying you ain't paying for some random nigga wedding. That's what you saying? Absolutely <laughs> not, bro. Nigga, nigga. Hell no, nah, bro. You will be a gentleman. Not only will you be a gentleman, you're going to be a man. Oh, okay. Real you get shit. what I'm saying? She's not going to gonna be wooed off no regular ass shit. Like flashing you, cash shouldn't impress my daughter. You feel me? Right off mother. It's the principle behind the actions that you take to lead my daughter, to guide my daughter. Absolutely. And my daughter will be a leader you get what I'm saying? An alpha. So you're going to really have to be strong to be able to harness the energy my daughter is going to put off. Right off mother. Because she's coming from a king, you know, feel me? She's coming from Wakanda, so to yeah. speak. She going to know what the fuck is left and what the fuck is right. Like, y'all niggas is buying numbers for let y'all talk. What's your no, but real shit, like, I'm going to have the type of men I'm going to have around my daughter yeah. will be like, if anything happened to me, my brother, my brother. My cousin will be able to take care of my daughter. She's well provided. Not miss a beat. She's secure. She has the guidance and the safety that she needs to thrive in her own type of motherfucking environment. Ambition. Yeah. Whatever the fuck she wants to do, she'll have the means to do so. You gonna shit. You gonna have to be a special breed to catch one of my yeah. If you want to tame my daughter, you gotta you gotta be a motherfucking lion. You gotta be a special breed to catch my seed. That was that was a double that was a double entendre. Right off, mother. Me because even my son, I just gonna be out here just you feel me fooling around. That nigga gonna he want I'm gonna tell my son to fuck some hoes. Definitely, get, definitely have son, your fun. Fuck some hoes. My pops told me get as many as you can. Right off, mother. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. My mama knew it. My mama knew I was gonna steal some hearts. Right off, mother. You know what I'm saying? Like my mama used to tell me all the time that you gonna break a whole bunch of girls' hearts when you grow up. And my mama just knew and shit. She just set it up for me to just live life, just give love. My mama knew oh, my I was gonna have. Four or five different girls over during the week. My mama wouldn't say nothing. Right off, mother. And I be seeing motherfuckers tweet like, "Oh, his mama bogus. If he if if he if if he let you come over and she don't say nothing, look, and my mama wasn't wrong. finna tell tell on me, bitch. This I, my mama. This my mama. She got my back. Right off, mother. Right off, mother.
So it was just, it was just like, like it wasn't even nothing to even talk about. My auntie and my mama was bringing back packs of the lifestyle condoms from the from the clinic. We we had big packs. It's no way you should be out here fucking without rubbers because shit, they bringing them back to you. Like, hey, safe sex is the best sex. You better wear latex. Because you don't want that latex that I think I'm latex. Right off mother. But lifestyle condoms about weak as a motherfucker, bro. They you know, because you know they got them king size joints too. Them king size don't do no, don't do no. Just squeeze your shit in like no, a sausage. Like a, I'm like, like a regular like a ass goddamn trojan, Polish bro. ass sausage in this bitch. I'm in there packed in. Them bitches is definitely not mad. <laughs> yeah. I'm in there packed in. I'm wearing a lifestyle. I'm packed in. I'm in here snug. I'm in there snug. I'm in there snug. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm here like thing? a motherfucking torpedo. I'm in like a damn Italian I came in sausage like a wrecking ball. Yeah, like, for real. Right off mother. <laughs> bitch, 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 I'm not a show where I'm a grow. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I had to tell the bitch. <laughs> On myself. Go say he had to specify. <laughs> Yeah, you I had to get it right. Goose said it ain't it, 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 it ain't dick right now, but it's dick on the hey, man. Hey, look, let me tell y'all it's something. It's dick on the back end. It's dick on the back end. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's back I'm end. I'm gonna go back to back. Like it's the me. motion you know of the I'm ocean. Saying? Right off, mother. You know what was my favorite part What's about up? getting some pussy? What's up? Washing my dick off in her sink. Right off, mother. I do love that. Ain't nothing like a good ass hoe bath afterwards. That bird bath. Yeah, that bird bath. When I wash my meat up in the sink, bro, and I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm doing my happy dance. I'm in there smiling. I'm in here sitting with walking. I'm chubby as hell now. I got love I'm handles. I'm really rocking. I'm like. It's that Bobby Smarter picture. I'm, I'm flexing tongue That's out. what I'm saying, nigga. You in shape, nigga. I got love handles. I done put the belt ain't on. Nothing, ain't, ain't nothing like seeing your love handles in the bad bitch mirror. Right off mother. What? <laughs> like, yeah, I, I just be. really <laughs> just gave you this real <laughs> dad. Listen, let me I be. Gave this dad. Come on. Yeah. I gave Drop all dad in you, bitch. The brace off she her rubbing on his big boy. She say she wants some dad. I'm, I'm in there. And we man. finna cuddle. I'm I'm got, oh, I love your handles. Tell me. <laughs> right off, mother. I'm beating your motherfucker. So, where's y'all favorite place to have sex? Is right it on the mother. bed? Like on a couch, car, sink? Wherever uh, I can get my washing you machine. Like, right you like sometimes the bed top, be too right high. Off, kitchen mother. top. I like the bed when the bed is the perfect length. You could beat while you standing up. You no feel me? You the gotta, back, yeah, you, you want that leverage. You feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know the the back shots. You know what I mean? Yeah, the back shots got hit a little different when this bitch got a normal size. You know when the back shots, when you, when you on your knees, man. The back shots, you know, it's cool. You got your, but I, I like having my leverage. You feel me? Right off, mother. You really get up having your having your hips behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really get the really get the power clean. Yeah, really get some thrust. Don't me the power clean. Don't me. It's case by case for me. Right off, mother. I agree. I have been in a situation where it's like, oh my goodness, like bitch, I'm so attracted you to you and I'm so horny right off, and I'm mother. so hard right now like no right like, I'm bitch, me, like I'm, me, I'm, me. I'm like huh right, off, right now right now pull your dress up right I'm finna fuck you right off mother in the car yeah. right off mother in your mama room yeah. right off mother on, on my soul in like the it, kitchen like, right off mother on the couch right off mother like, in the oh room. it's like, dark outside huh we outside it's raining over the back of the car I'm finna you get what I'm saying like oh we finna go into the movie huh since I got the new song bitch I'm horny Right off, mother. 